Yeah, yeah, what it do, what it do, man? Young Dre and this motherfucker playing this clean ass Titanfall 2 for the folia dig. Just chilling shit right now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just started this shit, man, so let's get to it. Alright, go on. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm tripping, boy. Sound successfully delivered to all weapons. Commencing test run. Pilot, the rings at my location contain a large amount of residual energy. This was the Ark's final destination. Anderson's plan indicated a recon mission within close proximity to the center of the active rings. You want me to do what? If we can obtain the Ark's energy signature, the militia fleet will be able to track its current location in the present day.
Cause I got to keep doing that shit. Damn. Dr. Jefferson Boyle, log one. Looks like they went forward with the ARC test, despite my warnings to postpone, but what Martyr wants, Martyr gets. I don't know how I survived, but I did. For now. I've tried all the exits, but I'm trapped. Damn place is locked down good. All I have is hope. That's what I get for picking a lab underground. What can I say? I like archaeology. This damn thing was just a test. One of our own planets is next. They're going to hit Harmony, and they've moved up the timeline. I have to get this intel to Sarah. Hold it right there, pilot. I'm located. <laughs> Anderson's final recording. Cooper, based on your recon of this facility, I may have a plan. Meet me outside. I would like to spend some time today to talk about the value of human life. There is no value to human life. Now that I have your attention, to be more precise, human life to a certain limit is expendable. We are self-perpetuating yet self-destructive, adaptable yet flawed, and always, always resource intensive. We are endless consumers of resources. But most relevant to our research here is one undeniable fact, that human life is abundant. The population of any colonized world is a given. Through the lens of cold objectivity, it is irresponsible to say that all individuals on such worlds are actually indispensable. Millions of humans die across the colonized world every day by any number of causes. Human life is expendable. Now our problem is twofold. On the one hand, we are faced with a hostile frontier populace opposed to our commercial pursuits for the greater good. On the other hand, there is a never-ending cry for natural resources, 
demanded of us by the greater populations of the core systems. We must have order on the frontier if we are to achieve true progress, but the militia, in its provincial myopic lack of vision, refuses to accept this. Thus, we are at war. Now the bitter truth systems will not arrive for several more years. The militia gain strength day by day, taking back one planet after another. Our choices are limited. Drastic action must be taken. Again, I remind you all of one simple truth. That human life is abundant. And, as distasteful as it may sound, human life is, in truth, expendable. And so that brings us to this planet type, where we have discovered a gift, a machine that will do more than change the time. Call it fate, call it evolution, call it what you will. The truth is we have discovered our resolution, and in it lies a weapon with a powerful ability to fold space and time. We don't know who built it, but we do know that it is quite old. And most importantly, we have learned enough to bring it to life. As we use this fold weapon, we will manipulate space-time targeting anything we desire, sundering entire planets. Our restoration efforts in the mountains are nearly complete, but one task remains. We must complete a small-scale test here first, to tune the power source, or the arc, as our colleagues tend to call it. Once we have accomplished this, we will transfer the power source, the yeah, arc, to a full-scale cool. site, and destroy one populated militia planet and then another. Accidental termination. Thank you. Automated security personnel, please target all non IMC military subjects. Pilot, I recommend you meet me at the rings in order to scan the Ark's energy signature. Everyone signs up! 